Alrighty, hosses, welcome back. And now that we know the basics of how to navigate around, let's go ahead and learn some more useful things. The first thing is, how do you just view the contents of a directory? So say that we're in Bucky right now, how do we just list all of the folders and files inside? Well, all we have to do is navigate to whatever directory that we want to and write DIR. So hit enter and look at this. This is gonna give you all of the files and all of the directories inside. Now, if it is a file, what it's gonna do is it's gonna list something like this. You see how it says git config 53? 53 is the size of the file and this dir this means that it's a directory so you see that this one doesn't have that that means that most of these are directories except this one right here let me move over to my desktop and run it again all right so on my desktop i have a bunch of directories to eric other uh, python reverse shell videos and i also have this file which is a jar file and this one is 14 million bytes. So again, at the bottom of it, after it's done listing everything, it gives you a real quick overview, one file and seven directories inside your desktop. So let me move back and here's another cool thing that you can do. So you know that I said that whenever you want to list the contents of a directory, what you do is you have to navigate to that directory and then write DIR. Well, you don't have to navigate to it actually. So I guess that was a lie earlier when I told you that. You can actually list the contents of a directory that you are not currently in. So say that we wanted to list what's inside this slingshot folder right here. What I can do is write DIR, and if I just run it right here, it's just gonna list the current directory. However, I actually wanna list the one inside desktop slingshot. So this isn't gonna change my directory, but it's gonna allow me to list what's inside that slingshot folder. Now take note of my path right here. I am still in the Bucky's directory right there. So again, you don't have to move into it, but you know, most of the time that's what people do. So I figured I'd show you guys that. Now, another cool thing that you can do is this. Let me go ahead and write DIR. And right now we're just looking at what we looked at at the beginning of this video, the contents of the Bucky directory one file, 20 directories, looking beautiful. However, there's an optional parameter that you can use after DIR, and that is forward slash A. So this is gonna run the same command, but it's gonna show you all the hidden directories as well. So if you hit enter, holy crap, what is all this stuff? I mean, we have some stuff that we haven't seen before, app data, um, ntuser.dat, all these extra files, that are just popping up. Well, what that slash A does, dir slash A, now that includes all of the hidden directories and files as well. Now, the reason that you really shouldn't mess around with that too much is because whenever you have a hidden file or directory, it's usually hidden for a reason. And the reason is because Windows or whoever created that application, they don't want you messing with those files. So that's why most of the time it's a good idea to just ignore hidden files. Um, the one exception is, I guess, if you think there might be a virus or something on your computer and you want to snoop around for hidden files or just you're interested and you want to check them out, then make sure to do the forward slash A to view all files plus your hidden ones as well.